What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of our nightly grind poker vlog and first off I want to apologize for the lack of videos over the last five or six days. I went on a trip to Lake Tahoe and the last couple of days I've been sick and right now I'm actually sick, I'm medicated up and I just haven't really been up to producing videos so you know that's what's caused a bit of hiatus of these videos. But for today's video, I want to talk about something I've been working on off and on over the past year and something that I've decided to actively start working on again. But before we get to that, so I went on a trip to Lake Tahoe and I just want to kind of share some of those moments with you guys. So, you know, take you guys on a bit of a trip. The crazy thing about the trip to Lake Tahoe is that it's in the middle of June. I went for my birthday. Unfortunately, my wife was sick, so she didn't go, but we already paid for it on Airbnb and my buddy and his wife had already paid their share we already reserved the cabin so I went with them and um, the weirdest thing is that at the cabin driving up there it rained and on the day back it snowed in the middle of June in California I know it's like Tahoe I know the elevations high but I grew up in this area and I can't remember over the past 30 years when it's rained in June and it snowed up in the Sierras in June but yeah, guys, anyways, um, enjoy, and then we'll be back in a minute to talk about what I'm working on right now. So you guys will probably wonder where I'm going. Well, I'm going on a trip this weekend, so it's Friday, it's early in the morning. Well, it's actually not that early, it's like 9 something. Um, but I've got about an hour to get everything ready, packed up and loaded because I'm getting on the road to meet my friends up in Tahoe. So here's the deal. Uh, we had planned, my wife and I and my friends had planned to go to Lake Tahoe for the weekend for a three day weekend. But my wife is sick. She's not going. She's going to stay home. So the dogs are going to stay back. We were going to take the dogs. We Airbnb to cabin. And so I'm getting everything all packed up. I've got an hour to get everything packed up, get the dogs fed, get them put away and uh, load it up, go to the bank, hit the road and uh, head on up to Tahoe. So yeah, let's get to it. Gotta bring the skateboards. So what's this big thing that I'm working on that I'm getting back into? Well, I'm starting again to work on my next book. So over the past year, off and on, I've been starting my next book. And basically what this book is all about is that it is a comprehensive guide to beating the micro stakes. So to follow up the book that I did last expanded edition of my Essential Poker Math book, I decided it's time to get back to writing this book because I started a couple times um, and I actually started two different books and now I'm just going to roll it up into one and it's going to be a comprehensive micro stakes cash game book for people that are beginning and struggling poker players. So in terms of what I have written right now, I already have around 130 pages written in this print format in this trim size, this eight and a half by a five and a half trim size, which is pretty much a, a pretty standard, pretty popular trim size. This might actually be six by nine. I'm not exactly sure. It's been a while since I printed it. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff that I already wrote. I started to go back through it and have been editing it and rewriting stuff that I wrote over the past year, year and a half ago. 
and trying to kind of outline the chapters moving throughout the book. So you know what, let's go ahead, let's jump over to my computer screen so I can actually show you guys what I have so far, give you guys a sneak peek as to what to expect. And then, you know, you guys can kind of leave some comments down below to let me know if there's certain things that you want to see in the book, certain things that, that you don't see in the chapters and so forth in, in the outline, um, you know, any of that stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look right now. So you guys are looking at my rough draft manuscript in progress, and this is a very rough draft in progress manuscript. I'm only about maybe 25% to 30% done with the book. And then once I'm done, I need to send it to my technical editor that is also a poker coach that's going to review it. I'm going to send it to a select few of my current poker students that I've worked with, that I'm currently working with and that I've worked with in the past. And then I'm going to send it to a copy editor. And then finally, I'm going to send it to a proofreader to do a final proofreading. So this thing is going to go through several rounds of editing and review and it's going to be a long time before it's done so that's why i say this is a very rough draft now you guys are looking at the title page because i need your guys's help i need your feedback so i'm not really sure what i should title this book what i should call it um, i wanted to call it crush micro stakes because i use the word crush micro stakes in one of my most popular courses but unfortunately, another poker coach uses that for his Micro Six Cash Game book, and I don't want to use a title that's very similar to his. I wanted to have it be a bit unique with my own wording. So I'm thinking about using the wording Conquer Micro Six Poker and Beyond for the title. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use for the subtitle, but the whole idea of Conquer Micro Six Poker and Beyond is to help beginning and struggling poker players learn how to beat and conquer the micro stakes and to beat them fairly easily and if they want to move out of the micro stakes also it's for people that also want to beat live low stakes so again conquer micro stakes poker and beyond i mean it, it sounds kind of catchy but let me know what you guys think if you guys like it if you don't if you have any other ideas for a title i'd be happy to read what you have just put it down in the comment section below because eventually as i get further and further on with this book i'm going to ping everybody in my email marketing list and people that are registered for all my courses to ask them for their input and feedback as to what they th as to what they think and what they would suggest for a title and really have my students tell me what would be the best title but anyways so i have written just over 31,000 words so far um this is a format it is set up for my print format of my latest book, my Central Poker Math Expanded Edition. It's eight and a half by five and a half inch, I believe, for the formatting. I wanted to type it in that formatting, and it says 168 pages, but that's not correct. I have a lot of placeholders in place for chapters that I haven't written yet, so I probably have closer to 120 to 130 pages written. Now, let's go ahead and let's scroll down through the foreword and that's not there yet and my introduction to the table of contents to give you ideas of what to expect with this book and so i'm using the table of contents and chapter headings as my outline um, first thing is for section one i'm going to talk about why people fail to beat the game of poker and why people fail to beat the micro stakes so people understand things that they're potentially doing wrong before we get into talking about things we should be doing. So I want people to understand some of the biggest mistakes first before we talk about how to play good poker and how to beat the game. Section two is going to be essential topics. And before I talk any further, you're going to notice if you've taken any of my classes or if you've, you've read any of my other books, I'm pulling bits and pieces from a lot of my classes and from my books and putting them in here. So my inspiration is drawn from my other books and also most definitely, I would say like 80% from my courses. My inspiration is drawn from my courses to put this book together. Um, so essential topics. This is things I consider essential that you need to know. And you'll notice it's multiple different chapters. So fundamental concepts, the power position, three advantages, aggressive poker being winning poker, reasons to bet, understanding variances and downswing, bankroll management and managing tilt. I consider all this stuff high-level essential concepts people need to know. If you think I'm missing anything as I quickly skim through here, just let me know. Um, you know, I'm looking for your guys' feedback as well. If there's something you want to see in here that you're not seeing, definitely let me know. Uh, section 3 kind of expands on Section 2. I talk about basic poker truths. So I'm not going to go into exactly what they are. Um, but there, there are things like... Um, 
traits of winning poker players and um, not having to be the best player in the world, understanding um, different levels of comprehension and learning, stuff like that. Basic game plan, basic game plan for tight aggressive poker. We're going to talk about that. And then chapter 13 is going to be studying strategies for poker success. Section four is going to be about learning about basic player types and basic HUD stats. And of course, I'm going to expand on those throughout the entire book when we talk about pre-flop and post-flop strategy. Section five is going to be about pre-flop strategy. So raising first in, three betting, defending against three bets, cold calling raises and set mining, over limping, isolation raising, squeeze plays and stealing and blind defense. And that's to the point where I stopped with my outlining so far. So I don't have section six, section seven or section eight um, in place yet. But section six is probably going to be maybe one or two chapters. I'm going to pretty much go through my essential poker math book, the expanded edition and just pick and pull the essential concepts and try to condense that into one or two chapters and then also expand on everything in other chapters as well. So I want you guys to get a quick flavor for those of you that that haven't taken my essential poker math book, uh, haven't read it or taken the course, get the basics in there. And then section seven is going to be about post-flop play. And I really haven't decided yet on how I'm going to um, put the chapters in place. If I'm going to, I, I'm not really sure how I'm going to um, set it up and, and talk about it. Maybe I'll talk about um, one chapter is going to be um, playing the single race pots and then subsections, one on, on being the, the pre-flop raiser, another one on being the caller, one on, on talking about maybe um, multi, multi-way multi pots versus heads-up pots, stuff like that. We'll talk about three-bet pots. We'll talk about um, all sorts of different things, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to break it up into chapters because there's a lot to talk about, lots of concepts to talk about, you know, floating, continuation betting, board textures, um, bluffing, semi-bluffing, all those different things. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to break them up into chapters yet. So, but you can definitely expect that to be at least five to seven or eight plus chapters. And really that's going to encompass this book. Seeing how I already have in place 168 pages with just the outline of these chapters and once I get this in place probably with the outline with these two sections going to be closer to maybe 180 or 190 um, pages when it's all said and done written probably this book is going to be at least 300 350 pages I don't know Um, but yeah so that's what I'm working on now and I pretty much told myself and, and I'm trying to do my best to commit time to focus on writing this book at night. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really written anything in the past five days because I was gone in Lake Tahoe when now I'm sick and um, I'm all medicated up. So I really don't want to write right now just because I want to make sure that I have a clear head and um, and that I'm writing in, in a clear and concise manner. But yeah, that's what I'm working on. And, and I'm hoping to have my initial rough draft done in like two months from now. Is it possible? I don't know. Am I going to try? Yes, but we'll see. So yeah, that's a first look at the book. And, uh, you know, I'll just kind of quickly just, let's just, you know, let's actually zoom out so you guys can kind of get an idea of all the crap. And this is, I mean, these are each pages. of all the crap that I have written so far. Just give you guys an idea of how much is in place. So it's a lot. Um, definitely a lot of information in place so far. So I'm working on it. I am trying to focus all my free time on it. And I'm hoping to have this book released around, let's say, no later than November this year. Just because it's going to take a lot to get it to market and get it ready and do it properly. So, But I welcome any feedback from you guys. So in terms of what you saw on the table of contents, if there's stuff that you want to see in there that you don't see in there yet, and in terms of the title, if you can think of a cool, catchy title that's not similar to any current books on the market, let me know as well. So I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Um, yeah, expect some more really, uh, let's say, poker educational related concept coming soon when I'm better. So I want to start on Poker 201 soon. I want to finish up Poker 101 with another lecture. So expect some poker educational content very soon when I'm feeling better. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you guys like all the content that I put together, check out my Patreon account down in the description. 
anything you can do to help support this video, you can support it for as little as $1 a month. Anything helps to allow me to continue to produce content for you guys. So I appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you guys at the next video.